Safeguarding children is everyone's responsibility. As professionals working with and for children, we must ensure our work never puts children in harm's way. It's crucial for organizations to have safeguarding policies and procedures in place when engaging with children, such as securing informed consent from children and caregivers, training and vetting staff and volunteers who work with children, safety measures at events with children in attendance, and other measures to make children feel safer. We also need to remember that children often look up to adults in authority and recognize and understand how this creates power imbalances which can expose children to vulnerabilities. Factors such as age, gender, socioeconomic background, ethnicity, disabilities, and sexual orientation all intersect and can create or enhance these imbalances. There are three key pillars to effective safeguarding, prevention, reporting, and response. Prevention involves strategies such as ensuring child safe recruitment, assessing risks related to our work, and equipping staff with the knowledge and tools to create a protective environment for children. Reporting. Report any child safeguarding concerns you may have as soon as possible. If you encounter potential risks of child abuse or exploitation associated with your work, silence is not an option. Response. When responding to child safeguarding concerns, all concerns should be taken seriously and with a survivor-centered approach. Join us in safeguarding children. It's a commitment we all share. Visit our website to learn more about child safeguarding and reporting.